Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney 2. When we left off, Sherlock. We have come back to Sherlock. The first day of the trial has ended. And he ended. forgot about it. As yeah, Sherlock <laughs> usually does. We're going to talk to him about how if, if he and Van Zeeks know each other very well. Yeah. So, uh, let's, let's, let's chat. Spill the tea. Lord Back Van Zeeks, and the prosecutor feared by all is a bring of death. No defendant has ever stood in his court and escaped alive from his pursuit. Even those judged innocent are safe. Sooner or later, they'd all disappear from London. They disappear? Some get trampled by carriages, and some have drowned in the Thames. Jesus. Some have mysteriously died to high fever, and others have been attacked by highwaymen. Jeez. There are countless routes to your final destination. God, it all sounds like some horror story. It is. <laughs> Mr. Mustache seems to be safe for now, though. So that's something. So that's yeah, something. For now. But if this is all true, then there's really only one conclusion, no? Lord Van Zeeks must be taking the lives of the innocent with his own hands. That's an understandable conclusion to reach, but it's actually impossible. How so? Naturally, it was the first conclusion I came to as well. When all his sacrifices died, the good Reaper always had a perfect alibi. I see. For a while, his reign of terror was unstoppable. But then, five years ago, he suddenly disappeared. From there, he never stood at the prosecutor's bench again. Until your ass showed up. <laughs> it is until you two arrived. <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. He was even in my very first British trial. I was faced with the Grim Reaper's great revival. And at the end of that fierce battle, I tried in conclusion that I couldn't forget if I tried. Grim Reaper stands as your adversary this time as well. Wow, you must have really bad luck, Ryu! Either that, or he just really, really, really hates you! I do feel some sort of extreme hatred coming from him. But not towards me personally. He hates the entire Japanese race. Huh? Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, so... What's the smell? <laughs> yeah. So what exactly is this overpowering smell? It could be this. But... What is it? I like the color. <laughs> you shouldn't even have to ask. It's a new chemical reagent. A port reagent. <laughs> reagent developed by yours truly. Just one drop of this can distinguish real tea from fake tea. A chemical reagent? There are some unsavory sweet vendors that set up shop vendors. in the... Street vendors. Street vendors <laughs> that set up shop in the back streets of London. Some dry out used tea leaves, dye them, and then try to sell them as luxury items. Oh. That's a pretty low thing to do. Can't let your god down just because the tea looks nice! Iris! Oh boy. Ready and waiting, IMZ! With a flick and I just drip one drop, like so! Whoa. It's gone pitch black. And it smells positively putrid! The black and stinky gets, the better the tea! And from these results, this must be the highest quality da da Darjeeling. There you go. That is pretty good, I guess. But what are you going to do with that stinky black stuff now? Yeah, I can't drink it. Throw it out, of course. Do you expect me to drink stinky black tea? <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be a rather inconvenient <clears throat> reagent. Prototypes are called prototypes for a reason. He's got a point. That doesn't make it okay to room perfectly good tea. <laughs> that aside, the air of science is nigh. That, of course, includes criminal investigation. Scientific criminal investigation? It has such a dramatic flair. Little does she know. I perform experiments just like this alongside the usual crime solving. One day, the Sherlock Holmes style of investigation will be used all around the world. This chemical just happens to be a byproduct of my research. Scientific investigation, huh? Might as well ask him about it. It really does become a thing. <laughs> yeah, we have someone that's big in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, about the Japanese. <laughs> the defendant in this trial, Soseki, is also Japanese. With three of us in the courtroom, Lord Van Zeke's animosity was greater than ever. That's why he was throwing everything. I can feel it all the way from my side of the courtroom. Those Japanese people in particular, hmm? That is rather curious. 
Um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you, Mr. Holmes? Oh, I do, but I surely won't say, actually. <laughs> it's better to be kept a secret. <laughs> it was around ten years ago when Berk von Zeeks chose to pursue law. But even before that, there was someone that the young Van Zeeks respected more than anyone in the world. That someone happened to be Japanese. What? Wait, really? Then what on earth happened to him that would make him hate us so much? I'm sure I've already told you this once before, but... It isn't my place to elaborate on this matter. B but he will tell you one day. <laughs> one day, I'm sure the time will come for you to learn the truth yourselves. For now, focus on your efforts on Mr. Mustache's trial. <sighs> the scientific investigation, we shall do that. Scientific investigation? Does that include the chemical you were using in your tea? You wouldn't be wrong to think so. I'm sure there are cases that hinge on knowing whether tea is quality absolute rubbish. Oh, we have one. Yes! yes. <laughs> I have to disagree, but you do. I think you said, but you do you. Oh, but you do you. <laughs> I'm sure there was a saying back in the 1900. Perhaps the easiest to understand would be fingerprints. Oh, of course, still don't accept them as evidence, though. But behind the times. I didn't even know their, of their existence until now. Brothers for the coming year of forensics. I've been conducting my own research. Forensics. <laughs> <laughs> so you're researching fingerprints? Bingo point. Bingo play. <laughs> oh, heavens no, other people are already doing that, and they're far too boring for me. I'm researching other things, right now. For example, finger marks. Finger marks. That sounds like the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I did it myself. It may sound similar, but take a look at this. Oh yeah, that's the stuff he sprayed on the wardrobe, remember? Yeah, this region is just, let you see at a glance what Smoothie Buzzin has touched. Way back when. That's amazing. Please don't tell me this one turns everything black and stinky, too. <laughs> no need to be impatient. You'll see a master's forensic in action very soon. Master's for Wendy. <laughs> Guess it's about time we head off to take another look at the crime scene. Oh, good to see you haven't given up. Well, of course not. <laughs> Go get him, Ryu. Why would I give up? Oh. Get him, Mr. Nohoto. Hold on a second. Aren't you coming with us, Mr. Holmes? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> what? Me? Why? Why? <laughs> you literally just said it. You said you were going to show off perfect the perfection of your scientific investigation. Well, she mentioned it. I did say that. Ah, fish posh. You two can go on ahead. Almost definitely. Maybe. Certainly. Perhaps. Come to see you both later, possibly. Why? Why? You're making it sound less and less likely with every word. In any case, we'll be waiting for you, Mr. Holmes. Don't wait. He's not going to show up. Good luck, you two. Thank you. I'll wait for him forever. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, our uh, uh, what's his face is over here. What's his face? Uh, pretensey. Because he got taken to the hospital. Yeah. Taken back to the hospital. You know, he's perfectly fine. <laughs> hmm. Seems awfully lively over there. You're right. Sounds like someone's having an argument. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, beautiful plump lady, you've made a mistake. Oh God, what was her voice again? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh it no. Was, it was something bumbly. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'll just go with it. Just wing it. What mistake you saw my picture, did it do? The eye of man hath not heard. The ear of man hath not seen. In light of that mustache or demon's attempt on my life, please do me lenient, my lady. I wish it would have finished the job. Oh! Good gracious, my plump lady! Out of the world's my stage! What the? I. I. Stop that now. Uh, this, this is all <laughs> you. The situation is far from calm. Hey! Oh, I yeah. read in a comment that someone said that they used motion capture for him. I wouldn't with, be surprised. With, with that. <laughs> all that nonsense that he does. Oh, well, now it is enough. The best of descendants of the Far East! Mr. Pretensy, what's going on here? It seems I was like the one I was meant to return to. I saw him, I saw this map with my horrid painting. Uh, what? Oh, black shadowed oriental man! Spectacular! 
Dracula was today is trying to like give you my applause. But thank you. <laughs> oh. But, uh, you just broke your probably. I thought that'd be expensive, and you're poor, so that's probably worth. You just tomorrow may not be the same. Don't you forget it. Um. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, oh no. That was oh good wow. Now. Oh well, I. Uh, What's it made of? Cheese? <laughs> no, it's made of Play-Doh and I'll exclude me! Play-Doh! <laughs> oh my god. The world is my oyster! I... Mr. Pretense, he may be a victim now, but that's not all there is to it. I just can't get a read on him. I apologize. I'm an abomination of a woman. No, no, no. Oh, Viridian. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Don't bother yourself with someone as worthless as me. Oh! oh I should Lord. get ready for my discharge. Oh, I see. Sorry to intrude. It's the thing you said before. <laughs> Congratulations on your recovery. Thank you. But you don't have to congratulate a worthless person like me. Girl. Um. Have some more love for you yourself. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look around a little bit. Is it, what's, what's that? Oh, that's the. I guess that painting is not important. PMA, positive mental attitude. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Let's do that. I ain't above punching rats. Can we talk to you? How are you feeling now, Viridian? Are you all better? Yes, I am alive and well. I. No, don't say that. We're glad. That was a really awful accident. I was just walking down the pavement, minding my own business. Yet I got stabbed in the back and ended up comatose for five days. The case was solved before I even woke up yesterday. This must have been a tough week for you. It's no big deal. I should think call it a pleasant memory now. Pleasant? Really? You sure? Um, I have to stop preparing to leave now, so... Uh, of course. Sorry to take up your time. Don't get stabbed again. God. Please. This poor woman! <laughs> you gotta move on to Pregnancy's flat. Someone give her oh, a boy. hug! <laughs> oh, Lord. Here's this place. Uh, yeah. Again. Okay. Hi. Oh! Good afternoon, Inspector. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Uh, we just want to take another look at the crime scene. The man in charge of the defense has a right to examine the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Do what you want. Oh, one more thing. Is there any tea left left in the soap that was on the windowsill? Yeah, there was. Only a little bit, but it was there. I knew it! They better sent to the artist's lab, and they're conducting some red tests right now. Those all should come back by the end of the day. Okay, thank you very much. Good job on today's trial, <gasps> lad. Huh? Grace? <laughs> Never mind. Don't ever think about messing up my crime scene. Okay. Hey, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, there he is. <laughs> like a bat out of nowhere. I was hoping he'd just be somewhere doing <laughs> some Sherlock thing. We, 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 and we'll, there he is. <laughs> we'll poke around at you soon. Number one, the window. <laughs> These ones are still filled in with bricks. I could be a king with this outfit. <laughs> and the bar of soap we left there is still freezing on the other side. I've got to say, the trick with the soap is clever. It's like the perfect crime. Good Gregson looking over at him just like, yeah. what? Just asshole. <laughs> <laughs> perfect or not, a crime is still a crime. You're right. Uh, what if we look at the cups and stuff? Here's the cursed teacups those two used on that cursed night. <laughs> they claim to be having quite the fiery literary debate. Romeo and Juliet, who was the stronger? Something along those lines, anyway. Now that I think about it, the two lovers in the story drank poison, didn't they? Well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you implying about pretensy and Soseki? <laughs> in the end, Mr. Pretensy didn't eat any soap. Right. Unlike someone was, else. <laughs> even though it was sitting so tantalizingly in front of him as he held a fork in hand. He was only using the fork to try and dig out the coin he had frozen into the soap. But then the bar broke in two. I feel like no amount of logic or guesswork could have led us to that conclusion. No. 
All right, anything about the, now the meter that we now know has been tampered with? Yep. You don't have any loose change on you. You can forget about having any warmth of light. On this cold winter nights must be rough for those who aren't in poverty. Those who are in poverty. Even those who are especially rich are not exempt from such experiences. Should they happen to run out of change, they would need to meet the same unfortunate fate. Well, this cold winter nights must be rough for those who lack foresight. Oh no, am I even gonna make it to the spring? <laughs> I wouldn't worry. Baker Street doesn't use gas meters, remember? Thank God. <laughs> hey, look at this. There's a dark stain on the floor. Based on <clears> what <throat> we heard in court today, this must be the melted remains of the fake coins. There's one big stain, though. I wonder why. Just goes to show how many times he's taken advantage of those ice coins. It's a clever idea, though. Oh, gosh. Goodness. <laughs> I'd never have come up with something like that in a million years. Anything important aside from... Oh, what was that? Gregson? Uh, oh, no, was this. we've touched the oh, land before. Oh, okay. That's all. So we just got Gregson and... Sherlock, I'll go talk to Gregson first. <laughs> Best for last. <laughs> Are you here searching for new leads too, Inspector Gregson? That's right. I want to direct orders from Lord Van Teeks. Don't you dare come back without any new evidence, he told me. Oh. That sounds like a rather difficult mission. Mmm, we've only been through this place with a fine tooth comb, though. So I've just been standing here sobbing in my fish and chips. <laughs> I suppose honesty is a virtue. Well. All right. What are you doing? Hey there, Sherlock. M Mr. Holmes? What are you doing? That's what I said. Hey, no need to be so rude. You're the one who wanted me to go with you now. Sherlock Holmes, why are you here? <laughs> why? <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I here? Why could you just be happy that I've arrived? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, become a great detective like me and you'll be the center of attention wherever you go. That aside, Mr. Holmes, please show us the perfection of your... Scientific investigation! What? <laughs> As you wish, my dear. I... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Ugh. I'm not okay. <laughs> it's been a while since uh, he put those on. What is that? What the fuck are you doing? You don't even ask, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Sherlock Holmes finger mark detection device. We haven't seen this in action since the anime cutscene for yeah, the first Yeah, uh, we haven't actually seen this be used. with the boat. No. Okay, I took a sample from the cup that the victim used. Mr. Pretense's cup? I created a personal sample from the oils he, led on, he left on things he touched. Then I made this chemical reagent based on that sample. Do you just spray this all over the room? You can see what he touched by looking through these goggles. Yeah, you can borrow it. Now how about you give it a go? Spray it around a bit. J j just spray it? All you have to do is touch anywhere that catches your interest. Like this. W Whoa, what is that? What kind of mist just came out of it? Mix it with compressed gas and liquid, then shoot it out. That's the most effective method. It's a technique I developed while I was crafting this device. Is it even real? How does Mr. Holmes come up with these things? <laughs> Hop to it, friend. Give it a go. We may learn something interesting if we investigate what the victim touched. All right, let's do this. I have to spray every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> yeah! That's a lol, that's a lol. Investigations callback. I... Aha, 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 I don't know what exactly would be suspicious <laughs> given the fact that <laughs> this is his apartment. So I don't oh. think there should be anything that I would consider suspicious because no. it's, it's his apartment. So I don't know why it would be. Oh. That's his dramatic, that's his dramatic acting <laughs> picture, obviously. You go, pants against the ball, and you gotta get emotional. Like this. I, this way I get emotional. I, I, <laughs> oh, look at this. This wall here's covered in handprints. Oh, wow, there are really a lot. You can barely distinguish one print from another. He's just like, oh, wow. Ew, it's rather unsettling. Unless that's like a secret picture hole safe in the wall. Ugh. If he had his hands on the wall, maybe he was looking at this picture? As far as I can see, this is just an average painting of nature. And anyway, I don't know of anyone who would put his hands on the wall just to look at a painting. Have you guys never heard of inspiration? <laughs> Come on. That, that's true. That was a bit of a mystery, huh? Well, why don't we look at the fucking the picture then? I guess not. Uh. Okay. I mean, I expect his handprints to be all over the place over here, so... 
Nothing out of the ordinary here. Just, uh, just, uh, is there anything else? What about the meter? Ha! Okay, um, oh, I don't... Did you try the windowsill already? There you go. There oh, wow. All I over mean, it's the where he's there. putting the soap, so yeah. is there anything else, or should I... Should I... Is there... <laughs> am, I, am I missing something? I must be missing something. I want to know what Ryu looks like with those goggles on. <laughs> Has he touched the spider webs? No. He's touched the stage, obviously. It's where he, it's where most of his time should be. There's the so we found y yes, yeah, the wall yeah, here yeah, is covered yeah, in handprints. Yeah, yeah. I is, do we want to investigate that or That's a true mystery. Is that the only thing? I I've sprayed like everything. You sprayed You've just gone around I with really that, have. with that, just like when it's the fingerprint dusting. And just <laughs> but it's not really giving me anything else to. to oh. oh, 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 oh! Weird. There's something under that floorboard. Yeah. What are we acting here of all places? These are handprints, right? These are definitely handprints left behind by the victim. Why are there so many all over the floorboards? Well, I know. Maybe he fell over really dramatically right here. But there's nothing here to trip over. Hmm. I don't think that really matters. Rather often I'll trip and fall over in thin air. It's almost a daily occurrence. <laughs> Same, bro. Oh my god, Up top. I felt that. <laughs> I think that's just you, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. So it left handprints all over the floor. What a mystery this is. It really isn't just him, though. You do do that. <laughs> yeah, there's something under that floorboard. Yeah. They covered the whole room with reagent. But in the end, these two places are the only points of interest. There's the handprints on the floor, and then there's the handprints on the wall. I think I'd like to take a closer look at the floor. I agree. Let's go do that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> ah! Just know? What's wrong? Did you get a splinter? <laughs> Spider splinter. <laughs> Look at this! The floorboard is loose! The, the floorboard? Maybe. Maybe the secret cash? <laughs> Good job, Miss Susano! This is big! Let's take a look inside, shall we? Oh, not so fast! Who do you do? Inspector Gregson? Get away from there! I'll be the one who ever that! <laughs> now, now, you just keep stuffing your face with your fish and chips, don't mind us! <laughs> Actually, I was starting to get a little sick of the grease in this. Something that would surely make me feel right as a rain, right and right again. Well, then we'll do it together. Yeah. Pompous asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't making a secret cash be hidden underneath the floorboards. <laughs> it would be difficult to do this in Japan, I'm sure. I don't know if I could overturn a tatami mat. But if he was hiding something this juicy under his floorboards, then doesn't that make you curious about the wall over there? Oh! Okay, I'll go take a closer look at the wall. While well, he's just trying to get the floorboards. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing behind the painting. It's just a normal wall. Hmm. It's a shame. What on earth is the reason behind all these handprints? Inspiration! <laughs> Can't imagine why someone would touch a wall this much. Uh. Did he take a picture? There, I've taken a photo of it. You're free to take a copy. Hmm. Remember, he has a little... He has a camera in that bag of his. Yeah. I almost thought for saying there was like a camera behind the painting. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but thank you very much. I didn't realize he could do that. Now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can take a picture like straight up with the goggles and it prints out of the thing that he has. I've Fancy. watched, you know, the, the one when he first shows up on the ship yeah. and he's doing all investigating? Yeah. I've seen that many times. Of course you have. So I, I'm <laughs> familiar with his inventions. I'm curious about that secret cache. Has the good inspector found anything yet? The curse is just killing you, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I'm dying to know! Sir? You want to talk? Tobias? Number one, I also want to look to see, because there has to be something important about this picture with the handprints and all that. Give me some, I'm gonna have some Mountain Dew game fuel. Oh my God, you're trying, you're trying to go for that sponsorship again. One day they'll listen to me. Okay, <laughs> I wanna use the magnifying glass. So, I mean. It looks so dirty and grimy and 
Gross. Well, it's just detecting his hand oils again, essentially. Yeah. But there's nothing abstract I, about I this. Don't... I mean, there's this stage over here. Yeah. There's that, but... Huh. Interesting. So there must be some per something we use that for. That'll be the final piece of evidence of the case to put everything together. Now, uh, Inspector, how are things going over here? I can't stand the weight. What's down there? We're not friends. I'll ask him for you. I am someone acquainted with him, you after all. Someone acquainted. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my. It isn't my dear beloved Toby. <laughs> what do you want, Sherlock Holmes? Give us a little peek. We're such great friends, after all. I love this. We are. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Come to think of it, neither had I. I <laughs> he just comes back. <laughs> my efforts were in vain, I'm afraid. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Looks like. I, I, I That's love a shame. how they, just, they <laughs> made that a thing <clears throat> for us to see instead of just dialogue. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, fine. Huh? I mean, you're the ones who found the hidden cash. I'll talk just a little, mind you. Uh, Inspector Gregson, thank you so much. <laughs> You'd best that so straight away, Master Nohoto. Quick, before he catches his mind. Change, Change his mind. <laughs> He's wildly unpredictable like that. Wildly unpredictable. I've lost control of my life. <laughs> Don't talk to me like I've lost control of my life. Anyway, there were three objects hidden under the floorboard. Which one would you like to know about? <laughs> Don't talk to me like I've lost control of my life. Sometimes some of the things that comes out of this man's mouth are great. Oh my lord. Okay, so there are three things down there. A newspaper article, a photo, and a tin box. Huh. So let's start with the newspaper article. There's a newspaper article from three months ago. It's about an inmate who died of an illness at Strangeways, up in Manchester. He died of an illness? There was a talk of the town back when it happened, after all. The guy who died was an old prisoner. He was a death row convict. Oh my! Death row? His name was Selden. He was particularly a brutal robber and serial killer. Jesus. His name told some damages, including a stolen treasure, was over 1,000 euros. Treasure? You know, before we could ever learn what that was, what, well, that treasure was hidden. Or pounds, that might have been pounds. It's Shit. pounds, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> Euros is the other one. Uh huh. Damn it. Newspapers are talking about how he took that one million of one thousand <laughs> money straight to hell with them. <laughs> wow, you can't talk either. <laughs> but it's rather odd, isn't it, friends? How he can't speak. <laughs> Why would someone need to hide this article so carefully? I'll admit my curiosity may be ever so slightly aroused. Uh, don't take a look at the silver files back in the headwaters. Don't phrase it like that. <laughs> oh, I mean, I know it's, it's, it is the proper usage of it, but still. All right. What is the photo? You could just say peaked. Wait. What? You, what, what, what? What? I know your eyes are bad, but my curiosity is even more peaked all of a sudden. This uh, was a photograph, a rather recent one at that. Huh. Looks like it was taken from this very building. The gentleman on the left is definitely the landlord, Mr. Garadub. But who's the guy on the right? Maybe it's his son? I can't imagine this would be very useful. You're free to take it. What? Are you sure? What you're saying is... The yard already knows the identity of this young man. Oh. That's why it doesn't need it. Huh. Who knows? But even if I did know, I'm afraid I'm not the kind of man who gives his jolly some discourse and confidential information. Like Gumshoe. <laughs> Let me just say one thing to you, Toby. Your jollies are jollies, but your job is your job. Uh Stop. <laughs> I'll do my job, I told you, idiot. <laughs> Sad, I thought that would work. <laughs> At least you tried. <laughs> I still don't get it. Why was a photo like this hidden down here? Mr. Pretency isn't even in it. 
But there's still rare sites down, uh, down here in the East End. Perhaps Mr. Garrett was just so pleased with it that he gave a copy to everyone he knew. I doubt that's it. Now, the reason why it looks familiar is that we don't have it anymore. But that's the guy that was in the picture that Viridian was painting when we oh. first visited her. The guy on the right. Huh. But I can't remember who that was. I can't remember what she said about it. Damn it. Do you... Damn my horrible memory. Do you think that... Did she say it was her husband? Uh, <laughs> her son? It was someone that was later because she was painting them. It's no way it's And she son, made a comment. She's in her, she's in her 20s. I can't, I can't remember what the comment was was made. It, I, I guess it was her husband or whoever. She's she in, said she, something about it. I just can't remember. And they, in, have, they have art tools as well. So they're definitely tied together. She's in her 20s, so that is not her son. You're right. <laughs> you are right. Tin box. Adopted son. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Enough. Looking at you, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking about um, Judge Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> yeah, but also Phoenix. No, this tin box. What the hell is it? That's why I should have looking tin box. If I were you, I would have opened that thing ages ago. If there was something inside that happens to be crucial to cracking the case. I wouldn't be let be the least bit surprised. <laughs> that you didn't think that it's the first thing I would try. It was empty. <laughs> Are you joking? For Christ's sake, Pinsy, at least put something in it! <laughs> For Christ's sake! <laughs> he just... <laughs> he just... <laughs> it's a shame you couldn't get a word in, Naruto. We solved the mystery of this little box without you. Makes me feel a little empty myself. An empty <laughs> box, huh? Well, it doesn't have anything to do with the case. For Oh, it has something to do with it. Give me the box. Give me the box before you take it away from me. It has something to do with it. <gasps> Wagahai? Wagahai! What are you doing in here? For Christ's <laughs> sake, Princess. <laughs> <Something good. laughs> Hello! Oh! Hello there, little kitty! What was your name again? Has anyone ever told us this guy's I, name, This Diddy. is before <laughs> they adopted it. Yeah. Let's just call it Wagahai for now. Oh, we named him. <laughs> <laughs> when did that little creature get in here? Cats are so slippery little things. Well then, Wagahai, I brought you some food from the pet shop. Oh yeah, because remember he's like, make sure my cat's fed. Wow. So cute. <laughs> Eat up, little buddy. Oh! Nap on that pet. Wagahai's pal. loafing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so soothing to watch him. That's up against the Sosaki's fears while we're at it. Look at him! <gasps> we can examine Wagahai, and we'll do that he next time. He did the little time. paw thing! He did. Oh! Oh my god, it's so cute! Cats and Sherlock in the same episode, this made my day. It's so cute, I'm gonna die! Oh no. 